Your phone could either be your greatest friend or your worst enemy. In this video, you are going to learn about the phone optimizing protocol, which all successful people have leveraged to get to where they are. Having a phone set up exactly like I in a Koji is something most are not willing to do, but you are not just some average guy, are you? This protocol is the key to stop getting distracted by your phone like a little boy, so listen carefully till the end of the video. The first thing you need to do is to make it so your phone only turns on when you manually press the power button. This is so important because increasing the difficulty to engage in bad habits makes you significantly less likely to do them. You having to manually press the power button acts as a micro barrier, stopping you from mindlessly picking up your phone for no reason. All you have to do is to disable the race to wake and touch to wake options on your phone. Next, you need to organize your phone. To do that, structure your apps logically and make the most important ones be easily accessible on your home screen. The friction of doing the extra swipe to go to time-consuming apps acts as another micro barrier, and having your app structured in a folder makes you less likely to get distracted on your way from your home screen to the app. You should also disable notifications and icon badges. Icon badges are unnecessary visual stimuli, and disabling them prevents you from accumulating stress just by looking at those numbers adding up. The truth is that if you don't disable notifications and icon badges, you are not controlling your phone. Instead, your phone is the one controlling you. Moreover, delete all random apps that you have not used in a long time but that are still installed on your phone. These apps not only make your phone slower, but they also act as potential triggers to pull you off your work and kill your productivity. Don't be shy of getting rid of old stuff. Remember that in case you really need one of these apps in the future. You can always install them again. Have you ever had the problem of not being fully committed to a certain mode? For example, when you are trying to do work, you are in this half work, half chill state where you still have YouTube or Discord open. If that ever happens to you, this trick will be very helpful. You need to start leveraging focus modes. For example, you could create focus modes for work, fitness, and also a chill mode. What you include in these modes is very individual. As a general rule of thumb, the less, the better. These modes are helpful because a big part of productivity is mindset, and having different setups reinforces the idea of what mode your brain should be in. Now, let's talk about your phone background. I think you are missing the opportunity for a quick motivation boost if you don't have a thoughtful background. One idea could be that for one week, you put a selfie of an old version of yourself as your background. You can do that quite effortlessly with FaceApp. Now, every time you open your phone, you can see for whom you're doing the hard work. Do you want your grandpa version to have had a successful life and is scrolling on Instagram helping you achieve that? The last thing you can do to optimize your phone for productivity is to make it black and white. This limits the dopamine you get from your phone and will make scrolling on social media a lot less fun. The setup is very simple. Go to settings and click on accessibility. Next, go to display and text size and then color filters. Lastly, select grayscale. 